Hey you guys and girls, this is Snowy and welcome to part 7 of Nova Zembla here in City Skylines. Oh yeah, we have been busy uh, all the time and oh, I have, I have to admit, last episode was like, it took already a long time. But you know, I can enjoy this game so much that... After I, you know, recorded, I, I kept on going, a little bit of indulging myself and just, you know, I expanded the road area a little bit here and there. I mean, I made this little um, <laughs> intersection, but does it not look lovely? Look at this. I mean, and it worked like a charm also. Um, I also created uh, the layout already for more um, residential area also. I made this roundabout a little bit bigger because this roundabout has a lot of traffic to uh, congest. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, well, I laid a road to this road, which is not that fancy. Uh, <laughs> I, made, I made just a roundabout here so people have the option to turn around because, you know, it's a long road, you know, from one place to another. I also figured out that because my road maintenance uh, budget panel is so that low, that these things only put out like three trucks at a time. So I was thinking about, you know, just make a dedicated uh, place for four of these guys. That means 12 trucks. Uh, and for the rest, uh, yeah, I made uh, an off ramp here. This road going to here, to there, hook it onto here, and then also an off ramp here hook it up uh, to there and of course with the proper lane mathematics and lane man man management so yes uh, a little bit of indulgement and when i was watching my map i was thinking like there is something that is really bothering me and that is this train track over here it's like hopeless we are going to change that and um also, we are going to change this little nasty, you know, I don't know. I don't like it. If I look this from a distance, then I see like, you know, this road coming in so nicely and then suddenly it makes this sharp turn. I simply don't like it. So we are going to change that also. Um, at a given moment, it also asked me for another sewage uh, drainage uh, thing, pipe. And it started to overflow, so I quickly put like a levee around it. And uh, but this also requires a dedicated uh, spot for water and for sewage treatment. So I will also want to create that. And I put here uh, four of these uh, geothermal uh, heating plants, including a Tesla factory, because you know I was sick and tired of getting this power issues, too little power in total. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I decided to just put four of these uh, nasty things uh, together and now we have enough heat. Okay, so where to start? I think to start with the train. Yeah, let's start here. So what is actually happening? Okay, trains can come from here. They can, go, they can only go up here and go to here to this station over here, this cargo harbor. But I was thinking like, why not go from the other side? I mean, this, this shape is like, it's hopeless. So, I will remove it. Immediately get lost of it because I know it, it, it hurts my eyes. Why not simply, if trains are coming from here, and they will go here, 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 and then just make a turn here, and then go to there. It's so easy. It's so easy. But yeah, okay, sometimes... You have to figure it out the hard way. Now let's get this train track and now let me have a look because this is bendy, bendy stuff. Um, and let me see what is a good good way. Uh, let's use anarchy. And what is straight? This is 180 degrees. Now let's turn this down. Uh, stay there, please. Thank you. How about that? It's just nicking over the key wall, but actually <laughs> I like it somehow. Yeah, it's not bad. Now, let's see, can we make like a curve so it can... You know, why not both ways? Yeah, why not both ways? 
you know, I don't see any reason why it cannot go both ways. Hmm, interesting. Okay, if it allows me to. Uh, well, first, let's connect this to here. So we have the connection, yes, only we need to put this down. Down, down, down. Thank you. Down, down. And now let's try to make a curve like this. Now I hope that this will work. Mm. From here to there. Now let's have a look. The tracks are there, in here, or oh, they're also here. Well, that's a quick fix. Yeah, much better than the, the weird S shape. I really hated that, you know. I did I did not like it. So also another thing, you know, that I you know I forgot completely was about this roundabout and these these guys, uh, this forestry uh, industry who is who are still complaining about not enough workers. You know, that bugs me a little bit because I put there like a metro. People can go there, but they still don't go there. So I don't know, I have to figure that out. So let's move this, this, uh, this one and this one. And what I'm also going to do is like hook this road, this roundabout, to this road so they can export their stuff instead of going through this main highway. Yes. So let's take uh, just a single lane road will do enough. And how far is this? Six units? Hmm. I... Um, yeah. What if we do it like this? Or is that too much? Uh, maybe this. Yeah, probably that would, would work. So let's take the three lane road here, here, and here. Let's see. And here. Okay, and then make, uh, yeah, and make sure that it is uh, sound uh, with the traffic management, like that. Okay, don't sh don't uh, turn lanes here. Also not here. Also not here, and also not here. Do it. Oh, oh, wait a second. You do it here. Yeah, and then it will all be fine. Now they can also leave the area here. Okay, let's give this thing a dedicated turn off like that and for the rest it's like pick your lane on this junction so they can go to every lane they want and this this option is not really that interesting but okay put it there anyway and about the speed of course when you put something on a roundabout it resets its speed that's kind of odd you know 50-50 and this is this is 40 and this is 80 but yeah it can be 60 because you know they drive uh, you know into this um, into this lane arrow so they will not hamper each other okay so that is fixed now what is next on the line next on the agenda um this uh completely utterly crazy stupid insane hideous well you you can figure it out we are going to uh, remove this ah! of course <laughs> don't remove the don't remove the highway idiot snowy uh, okay 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 <laughs> but that's better let me have a look at this road can we make a nice yeah i think that's better now let's take this road yes uh, like that and now we get into the air by 12. yep then go over it just diagonally no problem let's get down here 12 units Yep, and oh, we can make a nice curve here, I suppose. Or not. Can we? Come on. Are you kidding me? Now, let's see. How can we bring this nice together? Like that. If I just connect it 
like that. Would that be nice or not? How does that look like from a distance? Well, actually not that bad. No, not that bad, no. No, it's okay. Okay, next thing on the agenda is this thing. I mean, this is a temporary thing and I want to make something that is like uh, permanent. Now, the, the question is a little bit like where to put like a, a basin or something like that. Uh, you know what? Why not somewhere here in the middle of the mountains? Yeah, that would be nice. Let's buy a tile. Like, let's buy this tile. Well, I also that one and that one. That one. We have plenty of money and that one. Okay. There is like a nice niche in here. And first, before we do that, let's check out the ground resources. So only a little bit of iron here, but there's enough iron on the map. Or iron ore. So yes, I think this little niche here will perfectly fit as a um, yeah source for uh, our water and our sewage. So. And we connect the water pipes to them. Which is actually not even needed because I have like the... Uh, uh, how do you call that? That uh, no water pump uh, required. I think the only thing these guys need is heat. I think. So let's take some heat from here. And put it right to there and then go also with them to that and from here to there from here to there from here to there there and there and there that's nice uh, power wise I think that um, they get power automatically through that system now what I'm going to do is like turn most of these things off so these will stay off, these will just stay on, and well let's just press play and see what happens. Now these one are going to spew, well these one do suck the area dry, now let's, the, wa the water sources are a little bit confused by those pumps, but eventually this will reach like an equilibrium, equilibrium, and a little bit of water will be uh, that will disappear eventually and one is giving uh, some sludge but we will remove this because it's not needed anymore
Yeah. Mm, I cannot oh I can remove these pipes. Uh yeah, okay, so we can also remove the uh levy. No, and this little pond will eventually be clean again because that um, there's a water source in there, I think. Let me see. Yeah, there is. Mm, yeah, I can. Yeah, I think it will clean itself uh, eventually. I suppose. I'm not sure actually. That water source key ke it's keeping it constantly on the same level, but. Let's say I would add another one, a tiny one, for example, for example here. Let's pause it for a moment. Whoa, 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 not there, not there. I'm happy I paused it. Now and then take it down, let's say to there. Yeah, like that. And let's play. Now you have two, two sources. Now there's always one is a little bit higher than the other one. And then you get a flow and because of its flowing then always one is giving and one is taking so this filthy lake will be uh, yeah will be cleaned yeah okay so what more is on the agenda we want more yeah peeps uh, in the city well i already built a little bit of infrastructure over here so the only thing i need to do here is like zone this area so we zone this and the parking lot is on fire, so that's great. So you can park your car there. So you have a nice black car afterwards. That's always nice to have. Uh, let's put this up to here. And this can all, all the way to there. This can go to there. This will be going to there. They also will now more travel towards this uh, train station, I hope. And let's see, we can take also this area, which will be fine. And let me see, are there any demands? Nothing on the list. No, I really like that. So I can give them, I don't know, something special, uh, a nice, uh, hey, something winter unique buildings. I never saw that. A spa hotel, a snowboard arena. Uh, what is this? The Christmas tree cost 800 per week how big is that thing wow you know that's kind of something to put in the center of the map or something i don't know ah interesting hmm hmm maybe we can let me see let's take the this road this road yeah can we go still underneath this or not let me see or is that too much too much to ask. Well, we can finagle something. We can always finagle something. I mean, we are we are one bunch of finagle finagle And that uh, Christmas thing that I just saw. Where was it? Mm, no. Uh, unique buildings. Yeah. The Christmas tree. And then putting putting it here. It makes a few people happy. I'm a little bit disappointed, but let's also put like a spa hotel. A spa hotel. How big is that? Ooh, that's kind of big, but we can put it here. No, 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 not. Um, I determined that the uh, snowplow areas, these areas are very noisy. People don't like that, you know, that kind of noise. So that same spa hotel, we can... I always have to search again. This one, what does it cost? 240. Okay, let's put it then on this side. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea, but let's let's just make a simple one lane road that is going from here to there. A little bit further. A little bit and then back to there. Yeah. Then go to the spa hotel. Wait, where is that thing? Where is that thing? Here. I suddenly see more items by the way now. Huh? What oh the okay, uh where is that hotel? N 
spa hotel where are you what did what do I oh oh this is in the park area oh you can make even a park uh, based on winter oh that is interesting for next episode no uh, this was on the unique buildings of course I was here in this area oh that is nice I like it uh, okay put that here hmm Okay, use the move it more to slide it a little bit more, you know, centered. Thank you. And of course, let's make a nice parking lot also. Uh, parking lot. Mm. Uh, let me see, what do we take? Just this. Easy and simple, just go from there to there. Mm, yeah, why not? Okay, and then let's go to the 3x2, 3x2, yeah, this one. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, come on, come on, get in there, you. Oh, I hate it so much, you know, that that stuff is so snow ridden. That these parking lots... Uh, are not getting you know rid of the snow it makes placements of these things a little bit harder so yeah we have to do it a little bit by touch that is EV parking and this is handicap parking I mean handy you know the well disabled handicapped I'm um, what's the proper word actually I mean you you don't want to offend people of course but disabled or handicapped no I think disabled I think disabled, yeah, it's called officially disabled parking, so I say disabled. Okay, and let's put like a loose one, this one, just here, because we have like a spot left. The people are already coming, nice. Here we go. Yeah, that's nice, so... Yeah, give me a... You know what, give me a nice time lapse and I will put some nice nature stuff around this, uh, you know, it's like a, ho a spa hotel, you don't want to look at all these, uh, yeah, all this stuff over here. And besides, it, is this bridge even needed? It is not, no. Give me a moment to, to, uh, to make this uh, proper.
okay, so uh, in the time lapse you have seen me uh, putting in a lot of stuff into this uh, spa hotel over here. So for example a lot of these uh, trees, we have these parking lots, um, I put like uh, the wooden fence that I got from the forestry industry I think. Put it all around the area as you can see, the wooden fence like that all the way around it. Yeah, of course a lot of these stones, uh, I put like a, a piece body of water in there, in which I think it can be a little bit higher, like that. Yeah, and yeah, just um, make it all like um, yeah, look uh, pretty natural. And this this piece of rock is a, a perfect uh, fit for you know these buildings uh, separating this uh, sort of area where this spa is residing. So actually, I'm not that uh, unhappy with it. I mean, it's a great rock. I hope it does not overflow here, by the way, but. I don't think so, but um, yeah, this spa hotel really looks uh, great. So let's do something about these roads. Let, let's say, uh, where is it? Junction restrictions. Okay, you can carry on and pick your lane. And of course you have priority and designated lane turns. And we do the same over here. It's not needed because this is only an exit. Theoretically, it should be a two-laner, but you know, it's not It's not too busy. So I just leave it be, but they have to give way. Mm, okay. Yep, like that. And yeah, I think that that's it. Uh, yeah, I have, yeah, I've given this, so I still play with these pawn off. So what's the traffic doing? 84%. That is still not bad. Yeah, it's really looking fantastic. So... Let's go to the, uh, you know, cinematic camera and let's see what uh, it offers. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon in part 8 and in part 8 I am not sure yet what we are going to do, maybe we will build an airport uh, and we are going to investigate in all other kinds of transport because there are multiple kinds of transport like you see here, buses, trolley buses, trams, uh, metros we already have, trains we already have, ships, um, a few of them, okay, planes, Monorail would be nice, uh, cable car might be, taxis I never used before, uh, tours I never used before, postal service either, and uh, public transport hubs, I mean, yeah, there are a lot of them, don't know which or where to place them yet, I have to think about that, but anyway, um, also I want to 
have that the city grows a little bit more so we can really use those uh, transport options because otherwise yeah otherwise we would have more uh, transport stuff uh, in roads than we have city so um if you like this view that I told you about, you know, that you would be sitting on the other edge of the map, uh, uh, no, on the lake, I mean, that would be from, let's see, that would be from all the way from here. Yeah, I told that in episode one. If you would be like, why can I not go there? I don't know, but anyway, from here it would be like, okay, you would have like a, a city view and, um, okay, the... The buildings are a little bit uh, uh, smaller than I thought, maybe because the map is a lot bigger than I thought, so... Yeah, let's imagine that you are just closing in on the city, and uh, well, I will probably put a, a few unique buildings in there as well to uh, complement them uh, in the back, so it will really rise up as a nice looking city. Okay guys and girls, thank you for watching, and I will see you in part 8. See you, bye bye.